For me, the most pernicious legacy is that they've now weaponized climate and green issues, that they've made it part of the culture wars. And they've made it something that is about party allegiance rather than something that's actually about the whole of society. And I think that is just absolutely disgraceful and unforgivable. How do you want us to keep this front and centre, make this issue newsworthy? Because nobody's talked about it in the election. Um, so it's desperate times, I think. And I think the Tories have left us for, you know, economically, climate-wise, in a much, much worse state and far less able to tackle the challenges ahead. The point is that is to tackle things at source and to deal with energy and to deal with those big infrastructural national level issues that we can't possibly touch and to take to show leadership i think that's what i find so depressing is that there's a sense of having to respond to what they perceive people want rather than actually really taking the argument to people and saying this is what we stand for this is what we believe in this is what we feel is good for the country and making the case, and making the case powerfully, to so bring people with you. Definitely stop stop in, in, investing in oil and gas, and to to actually take back the licences that have been granted. We know that they shouldn't have been granted in the first place. To um, to bring back um, things like um, public transport, international ownership, to renationalise the railways, to you know to take genuine steps to limit the expansion of air travel, for instance to start taxing aviation fuel, you know, to close some of these kind of small loopholes that make a big difference, to try and position climate as something which is important to all of our lives, regardless of where we are in society. Actually, we know that the burden often falls hardest on the people at the, at the bottom end of society, people the least ability financially, socially, whatever, to be resilient to those changes. Um, and again, we need to take that seriously too and make sure that there is support for people that you know if we have you know Labour's made big noises about great British energy but it's quite a hollow promise in a way and we need to see some real substance there so that we know that as we move towards a green energy economy we're putting in place the jobs that people des desperately need.